all right so good good day everyone so we will discuss to you the very first topic all about thermodynamics so i hope you're familiar already with the terms or the terminologies used in thermodynamics that is found in your handouts so by definition thermodynamics is a branch of physical sciences that treats various phenomena of energy and related properties of matter especially the laws of transformation of heat into other forms of energy and vice versa so it comes from the greek word thermi which means heat and dynamis which means power now thermi and dynamis and in the study of thermodynamics it is important to know the kind of thermodynamic system that is of study so we have here the three kinds of thermodynamic systems first is the closed system or it is also called a control mass is one which there is no exchange of matter in the surroundings so since it is closed no exchange of matter in the surroundings uh, second is an open system is one across whose boundaries is allow a flow of mass and the third the third one is the isolated system is one which is completely impervious to its surroundings neither mass nor energy can cross its boundaries so an example of an open system by the way is also known as a control volume examples for that is called is a compressor you have turbine and a nozzle so those are examples of an open system okay next okay system of units so there is a two widely used system of units known no? uh, we have the in the study of thermodynamics we have the si unit and we have also the english unit so this system of units we will uh, we will have more of this as we go along the state properties okay so for the state properties we have the very first state property is the mass it is the absolute quantity of matter and changing quantity for a particular mass when the speed is small compared to the speed of light so unchanging quantity so absolute quantity of matter is so uh dili siya mo vary uh, dili mo vary ang mass ko no however actually mo vary ang mass class so dili mo vary ang mass when the speed is small compared to the speed of light no but if the speed of the object is a very fast na that it almost approaches the speed of light there's actually a variation on that sa iyang mass niya okay so mass for si we have kilograms the standard unit of mass for si system and for english unit we have uh, most widely used pound mass wherein the conversion factor of that uh, one kilogram is 2.2 pound mass then let us have the newton's universal gravitational law so fg this one so fg here is the force of attraction between the masses so if we have mass m1 and m2 there is a force of attraction between the two masses we have we are uh, given this formula fg is equal to g g here is a constant gravitational constant take note that it is different from the small letter g a small letter g class is the gravitational acceleration huh? gravitational acceleration na siya. and ang capital g is the gravitational constant so uh, uh, again fg is given by this formula additional constant times the product of the masses 
over the square of the distance between the masses or that is actually the statement for that the gravitational constant is directly proportional to the product of the masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the two masses so the value of g since it is a constant we have the value of that 3.44 times 10 to the negative 8 this for english unit pound foot squared per slugs squared so sa nisha pound this is pound force while for si unit this is 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 newton per a uh, newton meter squared per kilogram squared or tingali maka encounter mo it is just the same when we say 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 cubic meter per second squared kilogram. So, tingali maka encounter mong in aning a unit of G. That is just the same with this class because this one and this. When we say cubic meter per second squared kilogram, uh, kung atuan na siyang i-convert 1 newton is actually an equivalent of newton is diba that is kilogram meter per second squared no? to arago na siyang i-multiply yan og 1 and then newton ang kilogram uh, this one ang second squared is cancelled ang meter squared na din ha so ang, ang unit na to now is newton meter squared per so kilogram squared so the same than as yeah so it's either this unit you have this one kana or can you see a cubic meter per second squared kilogram okay so that if you have your unit in newton cubic square meter per kilogram squared and then our mass kung sa SI that is kilogram right kilogram then ang mohang m2 is in kilogram also your r2 so your r in meters and then squared man so meter squared so cancel out cancel out you have kilogram duha ka kilogram kilogram squared cancel out so ang remaining unit now sa mohang fg the gravitational force is now in newtons Okay, that one. And this one, if this is our G, then multiply na to na og mass nga slugs. If you have slugs, then slug ang imuhag yap ang isa ka mass. Slug diba is a unit of mass in English unit. Then imuhang unit of distance is in feet. Then take note it is squared. So cancel out. Cancel out slug squared slug squared. So ang imuhang FG now is in can you see a pound force ang imuhang unit of FG. Okay. We have the weight. So weight I guess familiar naman sa sa weight ang iyahang relation with mass no weight and mass so weight is actually equal to the product of mass times gravitational acceleration so over k so take note we should have the proportionality constant k uh, our unit for weight, so say for example, our mass is in kilograms. So, sa SI ni class, our gravitational acceleration is in meter per second squared. So, what is this quantity now? Kilogram meter per second squared, that is the unit, newton. So, our unit for weight is newton. So, weight is a force, right? So, kung magdraw di ba tawag free body diagram, a weight is always, ay, sorry. It is directed downward. So, wait, na na ang weight. 
And so, ang kaya nato anak lang sa kung sa SI Newton, if you have kilogram meter per second squared, ang atong kaya na is one. But for English unit, okay, let us try kung ano kung sa English unit ang ato ang gamit. Are you already familiar with this? Since you have this maybe in your physics, our unit of mass, di ba? Usually Ang unit of mass nga itong gamitin is dili man ang slugs, no? But the pound mass. Kung kinta hay ma'am, pound mass ang itong gamitin as a unit of mass, then our G is in feet per second squared sa English na siya. So, ang na may unit sa itong weight karon Pound mass feet per second squared. Ang expect na itong unit of weight is pound force, no? Kaysa English man. So, English unit of weight is pound force. So, can we obtain pound force from here? So, it should be, nga gamitan na to og value sa to ang K, proportionality constant. So, nga to ang proportionality constant nga ibutang din hi, the value of that class is the, this value, 32.174 pound mass feet per pound for second squared. So, that way, maka-obtain ta sa unit of weight which is pound force. So, ang feet per second squared ma cancel out. And then, the pound mass is also cancelled out. So, we have now the unit of the weight which is pound force. So, kung dili ni mo siya gamitan, okay, of course, dili nakakonsistent sa mga unit. Dili ka maka-obtain og pound force nga unit class. Right? So, ang k day na to, gamit na siya kayo, especially kung sa English, English unit sa nga to ang gamitan. So, if we, uh, okay, let us have this one, system of units, system of units, if you have, let us have this table, the unit of mass, the unit of acceleration, then the unit of force, and then, pila ang ato ang k nga i-multiply this one. For SI, no, sa SI, our mass is in kilograms, our acceleration is in meters per second squared, our force is in newton. So, ang k na ito ang class is 1. Now, sa English, you have the mass in So, if you have your mass in slugs, so wala kay problema. And then, if your acceleration is in feet per second squared, ang imuhang force is in pound force, ang imuhang ng k class is 1. Okay, why? Diba, sa SI, that is 1 newton, is 1 kilogram meter per second squared. Sa English class, ang equivalent po sa 1 pound force is actually slug feet per second squared. So, muna ang k and anya is 1. Pero, kung magamit ka unit of mass nga dili na slugs, so, kung kita yung pound mass na yung mga gamit dun, maunang lahi na siya na nakay value sa k nga kato siya, 32.174 pound mass feet per pound force second squared. For the MKS system also, let us include the MKS system. Uh, we have kilogram mass acceleration in meters per second squared. Your force is in kilogram force. So, your K there is 9.81 kilogram mass meter per kilogram force second squared. Okay. Next, we have the density. Now, for the density, it is denoted by, what is the symbol for density? 
a row. Definition of density is mass per unit volume. So by knowing the definition, you have the hint or idea of what is the correct unit for density. So kung kag mass, so kilogram per unit volume, ang mohang volume is in cubic meter. So kilogram per cubic meter, mga units na tos density, you have in English that is a pound mass per cubic inch or you have a pound mass per cubic feet. Next, let us have the weight density. So, on weight density, it is also called the specific weight or the unit weight. So, kung kining weight density, this is denoted by the symbol gamma. Kani siya rho. Kani siyang weight density, si gamma. Kani si density nga itawag sa ni siya o mass density. So, mass density sa ni siya. Ang sama na siya, mass over the volume now. Ang weight density is weight over the volume. Weight per unit volume. So, nakita ninyo, ang mass density is mass over the volume. Mass density or density is mass over the volume. Ang weight density is weight over the volume. Again, it's also called the unit weight or the specific weight. So, in SI, our unit for specific weight is in ang wutong unit of weight or unit of a force, Newton per volume cubic meter. Sa English, ato ang unit of force or the weight is pound force per cubic inch or we have pound force per cubic feet. So, know the difference is pound mass, pound mass. So, density, so the weight density that is pound force. Okay. Next is the specific volume. Specific volume denoted by small v. Uh, specific volume is the weight per unit volume. Ah oh, no, weight per unit volume. It is volume per unit mass. So again volume per unit mass. As you can see, opposite ra siya sa density. No, ang density is mass over the volume. Ang specific volume is volume per unit mass. So, actually, ang atong specific volume is the reciprocal of density. Reciprocal siya of density class. So, ang yung unit, reciprocal po sa unit sa density, which is unit of volume, so cubic meter per unit, unit of mass, kilogram. Or that is cubic inch per per pound mm, pound mass or cubic feet per pound mass. So those are the units of specific volume. Then we have the specific gravity or the relative density SG. So SG class has no unit. Wala na siya unit. So, by definition of specific gravity, it is the ratio of the density of the substance to the density of the standard substance. Again, it is the ratio of density of the substance over the density of the standard substance. Or it could be, pwede ta magamit sa iyahang specific weight. So, gamma of the substance over the gamma of the standard substance. So, sa ang standard substance na to, anak class. So, by the way, that is why unitless siya because ang imuhang density, units of density, makancel lang. So, wala na siya unit also. Kani siya makancel lang unit. So, ang SG has no unit. Now, ang standard substance nga to, ang gimin anak class is water. Usually for liquids or for solids, ang ato ang kumpiran na ang standard substance is water at standard temperature and pressure. Well, for air, for gases, ang ato ang standard substance po nga abasihan is the air at at standard temperature and pressure. So at standard temperature and pressure for water. So, at 4 degrees Celsius, so water in siya, 
Ang ato ang density, since dapat makibaw ta sa density aning standard substance, no? ang density of water, pila man, that is 1,000 kilogram, ay, kilograms per cubic meter. Or that is, in other units, that is 1 kilogram per liter. Or that is 1 gram per cc. Ang sana cc? Cubic centimeter. Well, for air, kung gases, again, kung gases, we will use a standard substance, which is the air. Density niya at STP is 1.2 kilogram per cubic meter. So, by knowing the relative density class of like a specific object or a specific liquid or uh, gas, you would know asa may mas bugat nga object compared to the standard. That is what the reason why kung ato ang i so inside the same container ang oil and water, so it will not uh, make so oil tends to float above water. Since ang um, SG sa water, so pila na may SG sa water karon. that is 1. Mga na tong basihan, 1. Specific gravity of water is 1. Since that is our standard substance. So, if we try to look at the density of oil, it ranges from mga 0.6 to 0.8. So, less than the density of water. So, less than 1. So, that is why it tends to float above the water. And, kung sa gases po, ang sa may gaan, di ba mo yung kanay gaan? Helium. Helium. Like, for example, helium. Helium gas is less dense than air. So, density di ay sa helium. Ano? Wala dito yung density sa helium. So, density of helium, since we have here the density of air, na 1.2, of course, it is less than this density. So, it tends to to float while ang air mo paubos, ang helium, nasa, mo pa ibabaw siya. Mo na mo float ang helium. Like, for example, you have a balloon, you fill it up with helium gas, mo na mo float siya because it is lighter than air. Kung mercury po, usually, makita po na to ang mercury. It is, kung atong isagol po ang water with mercury. Ang mercury tends to sink at the bottom. No? Mupailaom siya sa water because a mercury has, is very dense compared to water. Now, for like, for example, if we want to use the gamma of water, so what is gamma of water? This is not a gamma of water. So, from the definition of gamma, di ba, di, gamma is, ang sa to gamma, specific weight is rho g, right? So, our density of water is 1000 kilogram per cubic meter. Then, the gravitational acceleration is 9.81 meters per second squared. So, therefore, ang gamma sa water is 9810 kilogram meter per second squared is newton per cubic meter. Or that is 9.81 kilo newton per cubic meter. That is now the gamma of water. For English unit class, the density of water is 62.4. So, you use this value for the density of water. If you are, if you are not given, so you use this value. But if it is given in the problems, of course you use what is given in the problem. Pound mass per cubic feet. That is the density. While if we talk about gamma of water in English unit, so gamma of water in English unit, that is density is sixty-two. Tuna lang niyang Sixty-two point four. Pound mass per so many pound mass per cubic feet. Then times the pila my gravitational acceleration thirty two point one seven four right thirty two point one seven four feet per second squared. So 
it should be, para makakonsistent ka sa imuha units class, it should be, na imuha na siyang uberan sa iyahang proportionality constant. So, importante ni siya sa English, if you're using English units class. So, ang K na to, proportionality constant is, diba, that is 32.174, kung standard lang siya, pound mass feet per pound for second squared. So, ang feet per second squared is cancelled. Ang pound mass is cancelled. So, ang imuhang gamma is now in we have the unit pound force per cubic feet. Pound force per cubic feet. So, kung kini siya, standard na siya, makancel na siya. So, same siya yung numerical value di ay. Same siya yung numerical value. The density and gamma of water, if it is standard na, but if you're given the uh, different value for the gravitational acceleration, so you use it. Tingali na variation diri. But take note, pound force ni siya per cubic feet ang ato ang density diri. Pound mass per cubic feet. So, muna yung hang timanan. Okay. Okay, so let us have sample problems. Okay, problem number uh, we have problem number one. <laughs> a mass of 0.1 slugs in space is subjected to an external force of four. What is this four? This is four pounds. If the local gravitational acceleration is 30.5 feet per second squared, and the friction is neglected. Determine the acceleration of the mass if the external force is acting upward and B downwards. Okay, so let us have this one. You are given, so given in the problem, mass which is 0.1 slugs. We have the external force, 4 pound force. You have the gravitational acceleration, so delicious standard, 30.5 feet per second squared. Okay, letter A. You are to find the acceleration. So, we have Newton's second law, F is equal to ma, right? So, summation of forces is equal to ma. Summation of forces because if we have this mass, and then, of course, na amantay weight nga downward, no? And then, for letter A, if there is a vertical force acting upward, vertical force acting upward, so na kay F daw ko, no? Mo ni si, 4 point pound force. So, summation of forces is equal to MA, so we have the acceleration. Then, we will consider the signs, considering upward forces as positive. So, we have upward F minus downward nga weight is equal to MA. So, acceleration, may ipang hita, acceleration therefore is equal to the force minus the weight over the mass. So, we are given the force which is 4 pound force. How about the weight? So, the weight, di ba is given by the formula weight is equal to mass times gravitational acceleration. Uh, we have mass is 0.1 slugs. Then gravitational acceleration is 30.5 feet per second squared. So, ang slug feet per second squared, that is the unit pound force. So, that you can combine na si pound force, then minus this quantity in unit pound force. So, you can just readily combine. And then, your mass is 0.1 slug. So, it's okay. Dili na ka magbutang-butang okay since ang uh, ato ang gigamit ng unit of mass is slug. So, if ang mass pa na to aning class is pound in pound mass, mo na magamit ka sa king. Imuha dyan siyang ibutang. So, that is okay, calculate this one. We have 9.5 feet per second squared. It is positive, so meaning to say that the acceleration is 
upward an upward acceleration so ang weight ani pila ra maning weight ani 3.05 3.05 pound fo pound force and ang imuhang force nga gi-apply is 4 so mas greater ang force upward kaysa sa weight so mo na nga mapasa ka siya well for letter b let us try letter b if the external force is applied vertically downward so we have the weight pa down and we have another force nga pa down the f so summation of forces again newton second law is equal to ma considering upward forces as positive so we have the negative weight minus f is equal to ma so acceleration is this one so our weight is we have <coughs> negative 0.1 slugs 30.5 feet per second squared minus 4, po, uh, 4 pound force this 0.1 slugs so acceleration so my expect negative this yeah this is now negative 3.5 minus 4 negative 7.5 over 0.1 so that is 70.5 feet per negative feet per second squared so kay negative man it is downward so with the effect of its weight plus the dugangan pagid siyag external force nga pa down so of course pas pas kayo yung acceleration downwards okay